right, what's going on there, folks? We got another earthquake coming into Nevada, a little bit bigger one this time. A 5.2 earthquake strike in the Nevada area. I see uh, it showing up rather nicely on quite a few California stations there, including down there in the big Chickawalla Mountains of Southern California. This is coming off of a 5.2 earthquake strike in the Nevada desert out there right around the Ridgecrest, or not Ridgecrest area, but the Mina area. You know, just a couple minutes ago, we had a earthquake in an odd area, very odd area, and rather deep, uh, just to the east of Reno. Kind of suspicious out there, definitely uh, odd. And then all of a sudden, we happened to see this uh, pretty good sized five pointer out there. I knew something was coming, um, and there's, I don't believe it's over yet. I believe we're still kind of right in the uh, bullseye for potential larger movement here along the west coast. There's that 5.2 striking out there, Tonopah area. This is in the region where uh, we've seen quite a bit of earthquake activity following the uh, large six-pointer that struck way earlier this year. Way earlier. It's been months, but they still have uh, been having quite a bit of aftershock activity out there. Uh, but the 5.2 sitting to the north, uh, kind of like to the north-northwest of the main fracture area that we've been seeing all the aftershock activity in. Uh, it's 5.2, no doubt, shaking things up out there in the desert. 10 kilometers below the surface, and I, I'm pretty certain that this will be felt uh, throughout uh, parts of northern Cal or parts of uh, uh, eastern California there along the Sierra Nevadas, and, and definitely potentially up into Reno and uh, areas to the south. Um, let me see if I can find out where the map goes. There we go getting a few reports already in from folks in Fernley, Virginia City, Reno, Silver Springs area. Uh, I'm sure many other reports will come in. Like I said, this just just kicked off. You can see that uh, that spike of an earthquake right there showing up. You can see this right here. That's, that's San Diego area. Barrett, California is San Diego. And that's showing up rather nicely there in the San Diego area. Not going to be felt in San Diego, I don't believe. But the seismograph stations are definitely picking it up down there in the south and also there in the uh, big Chukawala Mountains there in the south part of the state of California as well. Uh, so pretty good size earthquake, 5.2. Uh, one of the larger aftershocks that we have seen in this region. Uh, let's see what else we got here. I'm sure this is going to update rather quickly there uh, with folks reported, you know, feeling it and whatnot. Not a whole lot of population out there. The nearest town is going to be the um, Tonopah area, which kind of sits over here to the west. This is a region where uh, I visited earlier this year to check out uh, any potential fractures and whatnot from the uh, uh, earthquake that did strike out there earlier this year, that six-pointer. I did not find any. There was some road work that was patched here. Uh, prior to my arrival, I drove out all through these mountains, you know, looking for other potential uh, features of, you know, of, of an earthquake out there and couldn't find it. But anyway, Tonopah sits off here to the uh, east, southeast a little bit. And uh, it's a not a big town, but there's, uh, you know, there's definitely people out there. I'm sure they felt that without a doubt. It's only about uh, 25 miles or so from, from the epicenter of this 5.2 earthquake. And it looks as though, according to this uh, USGS map here, there's been a couple aftershocks within that region as well. A couple unnamed fault systems out here uh, near the Candelaria Hills. I remember checking out a couple ghost towns out here. Uh, some dirt roads that led out here into the ghost town. I live streamed that on the channel. It's pretty cool to see that. There wasn't much out there, but it's still cool nonetheless. Some old mine shafts and whatnot out there. But uh, this is... Um, not specifically mine shafts that are collapsing out here. These are uh, plate tectonics and the uh, and the uh, well, I'm not 100% certain what's going on down there, uh, but some definite movement taking place in Nevada. Uh, that earthquake that struck out here to the north was the oddball one, 3.5, but they have updated the depth of that earthquake to a 6.6.5 kilometers below the surface. So that's uh, a little bit more shallow, a little bit more average when it comes to uh, the earthquakes that were typically seen out here in Nevada. 
I just it, it seemed kind of strange to see an 18 uh, kilometer deep earthquake out there uh, but nonetheless this is definitely a kind of a force shaker if you will a four quake even though it's way away from the area uh, still an obvious sign of impending pressure out here along the south part uh, or I should say along the west part of the United States also some movement down here in the Ridgecrest area a 3.2 striking just uh, oh about 10 minutes ago so when I said there's a lot of pressure and built up movement out here along the west coast with all the plate tectonics uh, activity that we've seen over the last 36 hours with multiple six pointers um, around the in and around the Pacific plate area uh, it's it's I think it's our turn out here along the west coast to see some more movement I don't believe this 5.2 is going to be the only movement that we see out here I'm still looking, pointing towards the western part or northwestern part offshore here somewhere um, in Northern California or just up here to uh, potentially Vancouver Island area. It's just been all too quiet in that area. But uh, man, pretty crazy activity out there. Um, and I'm sure this is going to ramp up the aftershocks here for Nevada as well. You can see uh, it already kicking off pretty good. Looks like one, two, three, four, four aftershocks so far uh, within that, uh, uh, just after that 5.2 there that struck. Not 100% certain what that thing looks like on the satellite view. Uh, like I said, I drove all over the place out here. It's it's uh, a lot of desert, but a lot of old, um, ancient um, you know they're probably eroded now volcano type activity out there uh, not for sure what this thing is for a second I thought it was a pyramid but it looks like uh, not for sure from the shadows here it kind of looks like it may be raised up off the ground a little bit that's kind of that's kind of odd but it, then again it is a desert out there right some uh, I may have to do a little bit of digging around out here and see what I can find. Okay, um, so for now, once again, 5.2 out there in mine in Nevada, folks. Please stay safe. A whole lot of activity taking place out here along the West Coast. I don't believe it's done yet. Uh, just kind of getting started out here. So please stay safe. We'll chat you guys a little bit later.